All right, today it's Paul and Scott from What Plant Is That Paul? And today we're off our reservation. So for the first time we're on a location shoot. And today uh, Steve has been nice enough to let us shoot uh, his nursery, Exotica Rare Fruit Nursery, uh, out in Vista. And man, we are on a search for rare dragon fruit and we found them. So this is the place. I have 30 varieties already. I bet I'll leave here with at least seven, eight, ten more. I'm so stoked. Come on, let's check it out. Man, it is so easy to get distracted here. But again, Scott and I are here for dragon fruit. And so we've been, came into this greenhouse and look what we found. Plenty more varieties. Um, they're definitely very helpful here to help us with the names. So you can see there's Elisa here. Um, there's one here, Big Junior M. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, they definitely be you. So they have some coding system and they can help you and find the right variety. They're very willing to um, help you out here. But man, just the choices they have, it's everywhere. You just walk around, you find dragon fruit. It's crazy. Man, so we are looking here at the orchid cactus and I found some hidden dragon fruit in here and I got it myself a cutting of voodoo child. So I came and got distracted looking at these. Uh, these are related to dragon fruit. These are um, flowering cactus and epiphyllium, I believe. Um, and there were some dragon fruit in there and believe it or not, I found a voodoo child. And you've been trying to get that one for a while, huh? A long time. It was, it's been out of stock at the source uh, on Spicy Exotics and I've had zero luck, so I'm really stoked. Dude, come here, Scott. Check this out. I've never seen dragon fruit so big. I mean, look at that. It's like a wave of flesh. Dragon fruit plants. It's amazing. But look at this. We have fruit on the ground. How resilient are these plants? So, um, again, these are, these are just kind of growing here randomly. He said this is kind of a lot of Paul Thompson's cuttings that he's gotten over the years. So, I'm not even sure. There are some of his experiments. Unbelievable what they have here. Um, they have so many varieties, at least I'd say um, they have 20 on paper, but we've come across uh, an Israeli uh, dragon fruit even, uh, um, and some more. So I would say they have more, maybe 40 or 50 varieties here. Uh, some really exotic dragon fruit. Some things I've never even heard of some varieties. So this is your place for dragon fruit. Look at this. It's amazing. Right, so Steve took us around a bit. And then we came across this section just when I thought I saw the dragon fruit and he said this is his rare section. And so as I was looking I saw Lisa, I saw several other varieties, um, one that started with Z, Samoria I believe. Um, but then I came across and I asked Steve what's IS stand for and he said that's the Israeli yellow dragon fruit. So the yellow dragon fruit Israel, I believe. I just looked it up on my phone. I know it's really hard to come by and he was generous enough to sell me a cutting of this variety. So um, I know this is really hard to come by and I'm stoked. Steve hooked it up today. So Israeli yellow dragon fruit, or I believe they call it um, the dragon fruit Israel. So very, very rare. Um, it's a yellow skin. You can kind of see the growth. It definitely looks like a yellow skin variety. Um, of Hylocereus, but what, definitely cool. What makes this one so special is because of the taste and the... Uh, They say it's super sweet and I know that the, these varieties will be on the plant much longer. So other varieties um, will be on the, the plant about 30 days where these, I think this variety, I know other yellows will be on 180 days. So this one will be on um, the plant much longer and they also start out with a lot of thorns that do will they, fade. Do they grow about the same size? or? Uh, these bigger? ones are smaller. So oh, small. they're gonna be a smaller and very, very sweet yellow skin with white flesh. Right on. Yeah, stoked. I can't believe I got a cutting of it. So not every day you can just come across a beautiful red variety. I think this is Armando. I'm not sure. But look at that. It's got a bud. So where could you get a cutting of dragon fruit with a bud? So we found some bigger varieties. I actually got one um, El Guelo, I believe it's called. Um, amazing variety. Um, the way that he describes the fruit, it looks like diamonds. So I'm very intrigued with that. Um, yeah, he said it was like kind of translucent. Translucent, yes, but with the seeds it looked like diamonds, I think he said. So beautiful dark red flesh, and he says it's really more clear, clearish, translucent um, fruit inside. Also, um, some names I'm not familiar with, Oka Napali. Um, and tons of just, I mean, look at this thing. I think this is an S2 cutting, so that's a 
That's a Paul Thompson S2. Amazing. Um, I believe that would be delight. I'm not sure. Um, and then look at what we purchased today. So what we decided to get were Scott and I each got an Armando. Um, Scott couldn't say no. He saw the Dark Star video and he said he wanted one too. And then here's where it gets really cool. So Steve was nice enough to sell me a cutting of his only Israeli plant. That's the yellow. And then I've been looking for a San Ignacio for a while and he found it and delivered. So San Ignacio cutting. Here's that purple haze I told you about. Tiny, but this thing's gonna take off, trust me. I'm not worried about it. And then, let's see, this one is a delight. So you can see roots, kind of skinny, but man, that's a nice cutting. I know that this is an excellent fruit, Paul Thompson. Yeah, this is where I found a sole kitchen white cutting. Didn't have that, now we do. And then this one I never heard of until today. So this one he calls a Zamor... What is it, Scott? Do you remember? Zamorano? Zamorano? Zamoro? Yeah, so I think that's right. Zamorano? I don't know. Zamoro? No. It's hard to look upside down. Zamorano. Zamorano? Yeah, it sounds right. So either way, never heard of that. And then I'm most excited about this beast. This is El Vuelo. It's even taller than you. Well, <laughs> I'm not that tall, but hey, it's at least it's like six foot I'd three. I'd say it's about five eleven, five ten, because I'm five eight. Yeah, it's got I'm straight. You. So there you go. So super cool. This has been an excellent experience. Um, I want to get some coffee, a coffee tree from here. And what was that black fruit, Scott? You were saying? Chiboda kappa. Something yes, like we want that as well. So there are so many different amazing plants at this nursery. You need to come check it out. And if you like dragon fruit as much as we do. This is the spot. All right, Scott, everybody, this is Steve Spangler. We're here at his Good amazing afternoon. nursery. Welcome to Exotica Nursery here in Vista, California. And check out the sign, Scott. And what do you want to tell us about your nursery? Well, here at, here's our phone number, 724-9093. We're 2508 East Vista Way, seven days a week. It's a nursery, been here 38 years. We've got plants from all over the world, mostly fruiting trees and palms. Dragon fruit's one of our specialties, plus mangoes, over 100 varieties, and pomegranates, figs, and mulberries, and the list goes on. And anyway, you've seen us a lot. John Kors visits us a lot. And, and you, have, you have a Facebook page as well, right? People can see you that way? Well, we're building it. Okay. But John Kohler, Eat Your Greens, you can see stuff on that. It goes into detail what we have, but it's a great place to come. And we've got little starch from five, ten dollars each to big sizes to, to specimen trees. and. So come and visit us. We've got fruit trees from around the world. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Steve. I really appreciate you taking us around and giving us some really, really rare exotic cuttings. So I appreciate it, man, immensely. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, so give us a like and a subscribe and stay tuned and we'll keep them coming. Um, we're gonna go explore some more nurseries in the future and who knows what the future be beholds. All right, have a great day. All right, so we are heading out, we are putting our dragon fruit in our trunk and Steve came out and said hey Paul I have one more variety of dragon fruit that is very rare and he took me back to this he thinks it's from the Sonoran desert region of Mexico uh, it's a very he says it's a dragon fruit it looks spiny it's round though so really really unique plant give us a comment let us know if you know what this is this variety but either way we're gonna get it in the soil and get it growing so so amazing